Yeah, they, they, okay. And we live. Um, sorry about that. We had some technical difficulties in the studio, as my brother said. You know, this is what happens when you go to a new studio. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, 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 this is um, Pullman Law Studio, man. You know, yeah, yeah. you don't have Pullman no palm trees. Yeah, yeah, you know. You know, we ain't big as Disney, but we're getting there. So, um, man, the one guy, the two guys, Gino and his cronies, man, we got we found a pastor that kind of uh, corrected him on that, man. But as I say, it goes back to on the show, word of the world, and read the book. Stop saying amen to everything you hear just because it sounds good and the guy got some excitement and you know hollering and screaming that don't get you salvation nope that's not gonna get you salvation you gotta have the knowledge or you don't know what door to go through all the doors look pretty all the doors might have this or that but you playing three card molly you know so, Tony Harvin, uh, Gino Jennings, hey, this is all for educational purposes. We're talking about the word, not personal. I don't care what you do in your life, you're a boxer, whatever Gino do. We're talking about the word. So, and we're going, we got this pastor went by the book. He came out with scripture, just like you've been doing, but every time you want to talk to Gino, they run. Yeah, he running half of me. <laughs> Only try to blow y'all, put you in, and then he 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 try to censor you. Yeah. But hey, it. you know, copywriting friends me, this and that. Well, this pastor kind of came out this past Saturday and uh took it to him. Yeah, he uh bas he basically uh rebuked all his uh his scriptures with scriptures without twisting them. You know, so you guys will have to watch this video right here. Go to this this is uh from Israel of God, IOG, IOG, Israel of God. And this is what the video looked like if you go online. That's so the, right uh, to YouTube, you can pull it up. So go to YouTube called God. Is it two of them or just one who, who talks, talks to himself. himself? So basically, Brother Bowie from the Israel of God, IOG, pretty much debated or debated Geno Genesis in abstentia, meaning, you know, he wasn't around to respond. But if he wants to respond, Watch the video, Gino, or Tony Harvey groupies, and take it to Gino Jen and say, hey, Gino, what this man talking about? What you mean? He showed us there was two in the guy here, not one. Well, anyway, Brother Bowie has a couple excerpts from um, Gino Jen's teachings on two in the guy here, so you guys will have to watch the video and go check it out. We're not going to play any of it because we don't, we don't want to get hit with uh, copyright infringements. <laughs> We're pretty sure Israel of God might not come at us that way, but Tony Harvey might try something. Well, anyway, so basically, uh, Brother Bowie brought up a lot of scriptures to let you know that it's two in the Godhead. You know, mm -hmm. he showed in the scriptures. Let me let me get my notes out here. And uh, that Geno Jennings basically is teaching the Trinity. Under another name. Go watch the video and you'll see what I'm talking about. But Gino Jennings basically says that Jesus is God, far, I mean, the, the, the God the Father is God the Father. And somehow he's in Jesus when he put, made that body for Jesus. That was actually the Father in that body. Mm. And then also he's the Holy Ghost. But the apostolics or the Pentecostals say the same thing. And the uh, Catholics say the same thing. Gino just saying in a different way. 
and 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 and, and what people are saying. So what? So what? No, it is so what. But you know what? Why it isn't so what? Because you have a pastor here, Geno Jennings, which rebukes the uh, Pentecostal and, and, and the Trinitarian. And the yeah, but he's putting out the same stuff. He teaches the same <laughs> doctrine under another name. You, and you tell me. Name. You, know. <laughs> you tell me to stay off with carbs and sugar, but you give me a sweetener under another name, which is worse or the same. Right. You're still giving me a sweetener and glucose and uh, uh, you making my, uh, my, my, my sugar level go up. I don't yeah. care if it's not cane sugar, you know, equal with all this, you're still giving me the mess. So, and that's why I tell, I always write in the description, read the book, stop saying amen to everything and anything you hear because it sounds good. It's not going to get you, you know, like they say, through the gates with, to St. Peter when he stops you. If you, if you didn't do right, when they look at your account, you're not getting in. You can holler and cry and there's no customer service to call, none of that. It's over with. So, uh, so basically, after uh, I sent that video or that live stream of uh, uh, Brother Bowie lesson to a guy in uh, Wisconsin, I told him to watch it. You know, so you know he said he, he said I'm watching this mess. Well, anyway, we got to have an little debate after the uh, lesson about six o'clock Saturday evening. So this is a couple of things he said. I read this scripture to him. Give me a second. I'll pull it up. Because see, this brother wants you, wants you to believe that that uh, where you go? No, I'm here. Okay. This brother wants you to bleed. So I read to him that Jesus made the world because the God, the father said he made the worlds. So what they try to say, they, they try to say that Jesus is the right hand power. Like he's some puff of energy. That the wheel. God around. He, he's the father. will of God. Yeah. He's that's the, the will, will of God. God. As uh -huh. Pastor Jennings put it, he's the will. Yeah. So that's what Gino. So when Gino said he's the will of God or he speak within his will, he's basically saying he speak to himself. But that's not what I'm talking about. This right hand power of God is Jesus. But what was Jesus before he became the flesh? They seen he was some power, some mystical energy that is that this some puff of smoke that's floating off the right side of uh, the Father's hand, and he took that that smoke and put it into a body. And, that's what they're saying. That's basically all they're saying. But you the know, scripture let us know that uh, he was in the world. He's the only God that's been in the world. That came from heaven. He was the word. So, you know, but I guess as Gino, we used to follow him. It all come out of God. Yeah. It comes so, from God. But, but, but when you follow Gino, he don't give you a handful of scriptures. He don't give you from Genesis to Revelations. So, like I give you an example, this is what Gino Jennings does and my man who's uh, Wisconsin. So I read in this scripture, Ephesians 3, 9, and this is what it says. To make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery, which from the beginning of the world have been hid in God, who created all things by Jesus Christ. No, your thing just popped up on my phone. Well, anyway, okay. so so uh, my brother uh, from Wisconsin says that's a lie. God, this is what he tells. This is answer to what I just wrote. God created all things by Jesus Christ. Yes, is what I'm trying to tell you. Who is the manifestation of the Father's power and wisdom? That's all that means. What does that mean? Oh, that's just word semantics. Yeah, he's the man of manifestation manifestation yeah but that don't mean he's not a being 
Yeah, that means he didn't he's exist not, back then. He's, he's an entity. And, and, and through the scripture, the, the, I wish they would have listened to the lesson because the, in, in the scripture, it lets them know in the lesson, he brought out that his name, it was Jehovah when he was up there in his God state. But yeah, no, they, they try to the say world, it's the father too. The world is so upside down. Uh, you know, you got the great Jehovah Witnesses that say Jehovah is the father. Yes, he is our father. We call Jesus the, our father. But he's not the father. He's not the host of the heavens. Right. So, so wow. That's, you know, read the book. Right. So then I go to Isaiah, I mean, Hebrews 1 and 8, where, where God is saying that uh, he, he, to, unto the son, he, he, unto the son, he, he called him God. So he says in Psalms 45, that is David talking to, tell, that is David saying that Jesus is the, uh, I mean, God is the, uh, like it says in Psalms 45, 6, it says, thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. The subtical of thy kingdom is, is the right subtical. He's saying that's David saying that to, to the father. That's David talking. You understand? When we go to Hebrews, it says God is talking to the son. But with, with the brother from Wisconsin don't read, he doesn't read one through two in Psalms 45. Let's go read. No, let's go. Let's go read uh, Psalms 45 and two. I'm, I'm going to tell him about this because he doesn't read everything. He take a scripture and run with it. So Psalms 45 and two lets you know David is not talking about the God, the father. It is. The father speaking through David about his son. Let's go read it. Psalms 45 and 6. No, Psalms 45 and 2. It says, Thou art fairer than the children of men. Grace is poured into thy lips. Therefore, God hath blessed thee forever. So if David's talking about, see, David's brother from Jake, Jake, the brother from Wisconsin says that David is talking about the father here. No. David is talking about the mouth of God, talking about Jesus who hadn't came yet. So if you start with one, it says, my heart is intending good matter, Psalms 45 and 1. I speak of things which I have made touching the king. My lip, my tongue is the pen of the ready writer. See, JP, my brother out of Wisconsin, will believe that uh, David talking about himself, but it's not. God talking to David as first about, person. That's yeah. it. Talking so, about Jesus. So if you keep yeah. reading, he said, Thou art fair than the children of men. Grace is poured upon thy lips. He ain't talking about David. David's not fair than the children of men. <laughs> that's, that's Jesus. Therefore, God had blessed thee forever. God ain't, he ain't telling God, G, David ain't telling my God blessed him forever. No, he wants you to believe that David is saying he got blessed forever, but he doesn't read verses one and two. He just goes drop down to six. Thy throne, O God. Is it that could sound like I'm telling I'm making a speech about God from my mouth? No, he he passes up. So Psalms 45, 1 and 2 is it's the same thing that is being said in Hebrews. Let's go to Hebrews 1 and 8. Let's see who he's talking about in Hebrews 1 and 8. Hebrews 1 and 8. Hebrews 1 and 8, it says, But unto the Son he saith, Thy throne, O God. So you know the father's talking about the son here. But in, it don't say the exactly the same thing in Psalms 45, but it's, it's still talking about the son in Psalms 45. It's just David is doing the talking about the son from the father's mouth. So uh, uh, my man from uh, JP from Wisconsin, he don't understand. He he, he doesn't read everything. He said he is right, but you forgot to read the rest of the scriptures. Verses 1 through 2 tell you that David is talking about the mouth of God about Jesus, his son, his mm -hmm. son to be. Who, how does it confirm Hebrews? Hebrews, yeah, we know uh, 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 Paul was talking about the father and the son here. Paul ain't the God talking to, uh, Paul, ain't the, Paul is not the subject of the thing in here, in this uh, scripture, verse 8. So that's what uh, JP thought he had me. So I didn't say until I let him talk. And I said, let me go back and read that. I read that day at work. I said, whoa. 
He just stopped at Thithono God. That's where he started. That was it. He didn't read the rest of the verses. I knew the rest of the verse was talking about. Even Brother Bowie didn't bring it up. He didn't read verse one in our Psalms. Let me see. Read the book, then you know. Just because somebody go another place, you you would know there's other places to go. Oh yeah. So Brother Bowie did read Psalms forty five one through seven. He read it all, so you know it's talking about Jesus the Son. It ain't he ain't talking to David. David ain't talking about God the Father only. See, uh, JP keep thinking it's going back and forth with David. No, <laughs> David wrote everything down, but it's about the mouth of God talking about his son or maybe his self depends on the situation. JP think it's uh, they talking to David and David is all about David. No, it's not about David. Mm, mm, mm. That lets you know it's two in the God here right there. You know, why is the father calling him God? Then he'll say, oh yeah, he called him God. Which is it? Either call him God or he's not God. He can't call it somebody God and not be God. He don't mean like the God we are. He mean he is God, like all the power and everything. Well, you, know, you got to know when he reference reference us a God, he's talking about our future status. Right, right, right. And what and we Jesus, were meant to be. So and Jesus, and Jesus made that status. It came to pass with Jesus. That's right. He's still not waiting to become God. He is God. He was God. He came in at feminine flesh and then he went back to be yeah. God. I don't know how they don't read versus i mean john one and one that just that's just beyond me that, oh it's the right hand power of god he wasn't a right hand power of god and he said i was with god i am god he's telling you in john one and one and one and two they they don't read it they read a couple and, scriptures and, and, and they don't understand because i mean i'm a novice at this but i understand he's the analogy like when he says he's going to sit on the right hand and wait to the enemies. Well, that's what we're going to do. All the enemies that were against us. And if we end Jesus, we're going to have that same power to sit on the right hand side and crush our enemies. Well, right. Jesus shows us, although he started at a God state that you going to you. I made you guys human, but this is what you're going to transcend to if you follow the book. I mean, and, and if you've been in this for 30, 40 years, I, you know, you can stumble on this. And but in 30 and 40 years, you should have came to some recollection like, wait a minute. This is more than what meets the eye. This is saying some other stuff. And you should have went and researched and started, started just go with it. Amen. Because the church sound good and the past is doing good. People monetizing and merchandising and just keep going with the flow. But right. then you, 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 yeah, your bank account good. You're riding a good car on this. But when it's time to go somewhere where cars can't go and this and that, you don't have, or like even the people going to heaven, you, you don't have your wings to fly across the ocean. You still going to stay on earth. You don't have nowhere to go. Since you're gonna go to heaven, but if you're not getting salvation, because even if like 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 we always hear sometimes we hear brother boob, you're gonna do wrong, at least do wrong right. If you know right. Sunday is not the real Sabbath, okay. You but you go on to church on Sunday, you you're not going shopping, you're not washing your car, you uh, you you're not having uh Relations with your wife, you're not doing, you're doing everything, but you're doing it on the wrong day. Well, okay, well that that's that you doing you doing wrong right because that's where you thought you was at. No, uh, no. We got uh, Carnell Roberts. There huh? cannot be two gods because Jesus is the name of God, like we are in the body of Christ, created by God. We is God image with his spirit. We can we was born spirit way before flesh. Where does that say? There are only one Lord, and his name is Jesus, who is God. For mixing flesh with the spirit of God, God said there is no other God but me. So how can he say there are two that that lie that that lie from hell? Jesus was 
the name of God before the flesh was made. That's true. He that, was God before the flesh was made. Yeah, yeah, that, that's true. He yeah. was. Yeah. Hey, but, brother, watch the he video got, of Brother Boo. He explained it to you. He got it half right. Well, thanks for the comment, uh, Cornell. Carnell. Yeah, he came in the flesh. But if you read the scripture, you know when he was in his God state, his God state, his name was Jehovah. When he came down, his father gave him his name. And by deduction, you will find out where if he came in his father's name, his father must be named Jesus. Right. Because he tells you that Israel didn't know when he was in the cloud and all that, his name was Jehovah. That's in the scripture. So right. you get it half right, brother. I thank you for commenting, man. And, and, and that's good, man. It, it, it keeps us going. So, so let me ask you a question. Hold on, let me ask, let me ask you a few questions. Well, well he, he got another thing. Jesus oh, yeah. said, you see me, then you see God, because if you don't believe in me, then you don't, you don't know my father because I am. Well, again, he, he, that sounds true. Yeah, but there's still, there's still two. You, what you saying is two. You describing two, uh, Carnell. But right. you're saying there's not two. So let me ask, hold on, Tony. Let me ask the question. So, so Cornell, explain John 1 and 1. Matter of fact, explain the whole chapter all the way to 10 in John 1 and 1. John 1, verse 1 through 10. Explain can, that. Can you see that, Jansen? Yeah, I see it. That's, no, no. I'll we'll ask you a question now. Explain John 1 through 10. John 1, 1 through 10. Who was that? It tells you that the word is God and the word was with God. That's two, not one. And hey, hey, Mr. Carnell, if you want to come on, come in the thing, man. Um, you can give, you can uh text me at um you could text me at um 312-686-4097, and I will send you the link and you can come on the show. Send me your email and I, I'll text you the link so you can pop on and we can discuss it, man. We got a few minutes left. Love, love, love the initiative, man. Thanks for the uh for the comments. But Jansen, you wanted to um uh ask him a question. Go ahead. Yeah, so I'm asking you one more question. Let's go to Hebrews 1 and 8. This is what it says about Hebrews 1 and 8. First of all, you got to know that. The word was made by the hand of uh, Jesus, not the Father. But let's read. Let's read Hebrews one and one. Oh, wait, wait. Let's go to uh, let's go to Hebrews one and two. Now nah, one and one. Hebrews one and one. God, who at sundry times in diverse manners spake in the times past unto the fathers by the prophet, had in these last days spoken by us, spoken unto us by His Son, whom He had appointed heir of all things by. <coughs> By whom he had made the worlds. So let you know that the world was made by Jesus, not the Father, who being in the brightness of his glory, the express image of his person, upholding all things, the word of his power, when he had when he by himself purged his sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. So we know where Jesus went. The only thing in heaven, brother, is God the Father and God the Son and the holy angels. There's no other type of uh, deity a thing in heaven, but two in the God here. That's two. Let's drop down to verses, um, verse, let's go to verse six and read it. And on verse six, Hebrews one and six, Mr. Cornell, if you're listening, go to that Hebrews one and six. Oh and again, man, look what he put out. Look what he put out. If God has a son, who is the mother? <laughs> well, we're going we're gonna to deal with foolishness. Let's go to scripture. You brought scripture to me. I'm bringing it to you. Let's read what the scripture say. You figured, you answered that question for yourself, Mr. Roberts. Verses Hebrews 1 and 6. And again, when he bringeth in the forgot, in the first begotten into the world, he said, and let all the angels of God worship him. And the angels, and of the angels, he said, who maketh himself angels, spirits, and his ministers a flame of fire. But unto the Son... He saith, thy throne, O God, this is the Father calling the Son God, brother, is forever and ever. Our scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy kingdom. 
and thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore, God, he's calling his son God. This is the father talking to the son about the son. Even thy God, meaning the father, had anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. And thou, Lord, now he's called, now God the Father is calling the Son, Lord, here. And thou, Lord, in the beginning has laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the, the, the works of thy hand. And, and, and through the scriptures, all the time, we call Jesus Lord, and Jesus called his Father Lord of Lords. Right, right. Lord of hosts the lords. So, you know, hey. But it's a it's, it's good conversation, uh, Mr. Roberts. Man, like you like you, I really like you to come in and next time, yeah, man. Come in and ask those questions, brother. Have some answers to the questions I just asked you. Now, I think you read when I read Ephesians. Did I read Ephesians to you? Yeah, you got it. Back it up and pray it over. You see what a, what the mystery of God is that, that the worlds are made by His Son. Let me find that again. Give me one second. How can God's seed be birthed without a woman? Is that what he asked? Well, that was the, yeah. So I guess he going on because the angel came down and hovered over Mary and had to put a seed in there. Yeah. Well, you ain't got no scripture for it, brother. You just talking now. Give me some scripture. We gave you scripture. Answer our questions. Don't answer our question with a question. Answer our question. Well, well, well check this out. Well, that he did give a seed he gave a seed to gabriel he came down and hovered over mary and she did boom but you got to remember in the book remember god said every kind at this seed but we not we not we wasn't born gods we in the image we wasn't seed at the seed because he created us just like he created the angels he made us a little above the angels but we are lower because we die. We die like men, but we got the gift to make it in the end to the to the finishing line as a God. We start off as a human, but by the time we get to the finish line and we write, we're going to pass the angels up because we're going to be God and they're going to work for us. That's yeah. why Satan, Lucifer, cannot stand it. How could you make them some stinky, funky humans and they can die? And I'm a I'm a spirit being. I can walk through walls. I can do all this, but I can't have the glory. So you're going to give thing. it to them humans. That's all messed up. Let me say one more thing. So, you know, the scripture, brother, where it says uh, about that we're going to judge angels. Do you know that scripture, sir? How are we going to judge angels? If we still flesh and blood because we're going to be God. Just like Jesus. Jesus now God. He came from flesh and went back to God. We ain't going back to God. We're going to be God for the first time, just like Jesus. Because you got a scripture say, uh, I'm throwing these scriptures out. If you know the Bible, you would know. It says, when we see him, when we see Jesus, we don't know what we will be, but we're going to be just like him. And what is he right now? He is God in heaven next to the Father. And he's returning as God. And he's going to make us into God. That's scripture, brother, not me just going out the mouth. But if you don't read your book, you don't know these things. Read your book. I read it 10 times from Genesis to Revelation. And you'll see this. Yeah, I told him, thank you, man. I'd like, like, like him to come in, man. That's pretty. I like that. So, hey, you know, it's, it's all, it's all, you know, Mother Earth bear the son of man is earth name mary uh you know you ain't talking no bible brother so if you ain't talking no bible stop wasting our time <laughs> well learn some bible. that's why we here well you know we gotta take whatever if somebody come we gotta hey yeah, we got to say yeah, but if he, he gonna talk this mystical crazy stuff what's the point you want to learn about the bible and get some understanding hey we got the right place for it. but all this mystical stuff is not in the book we don't want to talk to you or waste your time or our time. Well, I guess he's saying the mother of, uh, of from the earth bear the son of man, and her earth name was Mary. Oh, that's philosophy BS, man. <laughs> Come on. You know, they ain't got nothing to do with scripture. He said, you know? he said, he said, he's saying that's Bible. No, they ain't they got no the Bible. It's 
What what's the Bible? What he just said Mother Earth. What did it say Mother Earth in the Bible at? Nowhere. <laughs> well, I guess he meant he, he shorted it up, Mother, you know, from Earth, bear the son of man. Son of that's, man. That's, that's philosophy crap. God took God created man. He could have took him out the puff, he could have took him out of air if he wanted. He's dug him out the ground. But if you want to learn some book, you talking about philosophizing. And on, on another plane, like you like you hide some, bro. I'm gonna be real with you. That ain't got nothing to do with your salvation. What you talking about? And, and and you know what, Mr. Roberts? Hey, you might have some higher knowledge than us. But all I could go on, and our show is about the people that read the Bible and tell us the, and tell us give us wrong stuff out the Bible. So you might be on a higher plane, brother. I, I I can't, you know, we 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 two different places. So all I can do is go with what I know on earth. So, you know, hey, I'm not hey, I I show can't me, even show me that. What the scripture. Show me Bible in the script. What you talking about? Show me Bible in the scripture. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, the word Bible? The word Bible it ain't in the scripture. It's what the Bible is. Biblos, a binding of books. That's what it means. That's why they call it the Bible. That, that's in Latin. That's Latin that's and Greek Latin. or something. Yeah. Latin. Biblos. Because it was not. Because remember, you got the first five books was the Torah. Even the, even the so-called Jews, Jews, you'd, hey, hey, Monique, Monique Murphy trying to yeah. chime in. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, the first five books is the Torah and the so-called Jews use the Torah. So we know that, which y'all say the first five books came from Moses written down, you know, but he still got it from God. You know, so and well, Mr. Cornell Roberts says, no, we wrong with the, the Bible thing. So I don't know. Okay. Well, hey, like I said, <laughs> He he might be on you might be on some Mr. Roberts. Hey, you might know. I'm not. I'm I'm not. Hey, fam. I'm not the all in knowing all. So uh, he says Luke four verse twenty and yeah, twenty six. I don't know what you're talking. About. I'm looking it up right now. Give me one second. You know, it's just a discussion. You know, you got some tips where, hey, we haven't seen. Hey, I've been a sinner from the beginning. I'm 58. I just started looking at this stuff in my late 40s going on 50. I cannot, I don't know it all. I'm probably going to never know it all. Okay, Even so, so Cornette, I mean, uh, Mr. Rob, Mr. Rob, what you mean by this? Yeah. What, what's that? Well, what let's what read you it. talking about? What, what, read it, man. It. What? This is when Jesus was speaking to, uh, oh, did, Oh, Luke chapter four, chapter four, verse 20 and 26. Okay, he closed the book. Yeah, he's reading. He was reading in the synagogue. Okay. Okay, I don't know what he mean by that. He gave, he gave, he gave two verses. I don't know what's your point. So what did they read? What did they say? Oh, okay. Read, uh, verse 20 says, uh, and he closed the book and he gave it again to, to the minister and sat down and the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on it. That's Jesus when he, when he uh, read the Bible. Well, he's probably, he he's, probably huh? he's probably making the point it's not called the Bible. They call, they just call it the book. Okay, what's the big deal? So, what you mean? What are you trying to get at, bro? <laughs> well, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm, well, I mean, he makes the point. We got, we got to take everything into account. Yeah, he said, what the name? What's the name of the book? What's the name of the the thing we call the Bible? Well, he's he's making the point. The if Holy, I can speak for him, scripture, Holy Scripture. If I, yeah, that's it. People call so, the scriptures. So it wasn't called the Bible. The scriptures, you know. Uh, I think the we Bible. We know that God inspired some men to write it. And we have it today. So what what are we talking about? Knowing that is not going to take salvation from you or add salvation to you, bro. <laughs> What's blasphemy? 
I guess uh, it, it's I I guess he's trying to say it's blasphemy to call the scriptures the Bible. Bible, a binding of books, that's blasphemy. <laughs> well, who yeah, are you I guess, to say that? You know, who are you to say that? <laughs> I mean, you who, know, who gave you authority? You know, it's you blasphemy know. what you're saying. <laughs> You hey, ain't no well, on nobody on no Bible. Well, I, I, well, it sounds like he got some knowledge somewhere. Yeah, he, I, got, he got some knowledge that said we're not supposed to call the scriptures the Bible. Just like yeah, a lot that, of people say knowledge. we're not supposed to call Jesus Jesus. We're supposed to call him Yasha, Yashua or whatever. Yeah. You know, they say we can't say his his name in Hebrew. We're not supposed to call upon him. Yeah, he don't only talk about man. He wasn't. He said them. God did not say that at all. Well, you know, hey, it's a discussion, man. Well, you know, that's what we do. That's what we hear. You know. Yeah. You got to so take. Every... About... So hold it, hold it, Tony. That's why we got the title, Word of God or the World's Word. And that's the World's yeah. Word. What he talking about? That's why well, we on here. That's the show. Well, that's all we got to do is show it like they say. Leave it on the court. You know, we 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 on the court. So when he come in, whatever game he brings in, we 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 we. We come to the match. We yeah, ready yeah. to play so, ball. I mean, that's what we're supposed to do discussing. But when you hit what he's saying, they ain't going to risk nobody's life. <laughs> they ain't going to get no salvation. They may lose well, it if they follow him. Well, what I would ask, what I would ask Brother Roberts, if he could, if there's some other stuff on there, some other, some literature that, that 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 he can cite that 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 um holds up on his on his thesis you know that we can all learn from i i don't know i don't know where he's getting and it, you know he might read some scriptures and coming up with something that we don't we haven't uh well, thought he, of. he ain't read out the 66 books because i read him going on 10 times well his it ain't coming from the bible was the bible in the ark So, I, think I, did anything. I don't know. He just asking stupid questions now. <laughs> well, I don't. I don't know. Yeah. I well, guess any. Yeah. No, but see, we know the scrolls were in the ark, far as the Bible says. We don't know what's in the ark. Well, but no, we know that Moses came after the ark, and he wrote about the ark. No, we, we well, well, you know, we talking about the we talking about the ark where they 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 uh not not with uh Noah. We talking about the ark. The Ark of the Covenant. I believe that's what he's talking about, where we had the covenant inside. Yeah, what well, the book that, that Israel. It's, it's, yeah. yeah. And whatever it was called back then, we called it what we need to call it. Well, to, to, you know, to get no, to it was salvation. called what well, they call it the covenant. That means that was the that was that was the uh the binding contract, and that was its holy place in the ark. Where well, the first five books went the first five books of the Bible were in the ark. Yeah, well, I think he's making a point okay. that it wasn't called the Bible. They didn't call hey, man, it. We're gonna end discussion. Yeah. yeah. Hey, well, bro, come can't. on, come on, come on next Monday night with some with some conversation. You know, just you know. Well, I mean, what's this up, is, John? Mr. Flowers. That's that's John Flowers. He brought yeah. in. Hey, how you doing, man? Yeah. See, John, the law was in the art, and of course, nowhere in the Bible says it was called the bible they didn't reference it as the bible so yes we do know that so hey you know like i said we don't i i don't do everything hey man I, i'm still a sinner i'm still learning uh mr j e descriptive ripter gets down more than that and 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 that and that pastor brother buoy knows more even the pastor geno jennings that we was talking about knows a hundred times more than me. He's been in the game for a while. I'm just pointing out stuff what I read and I can hear and put together and make common sense that, hey, something's not adding up. You know, I don't have to be a scientist, you know, for that. Now, if you're talking about splitting molecules and all that, I need to be a science. I need to know what a molecule is. I know, but far as the Bible, if you said this, the sky is blue, if the book says the sky is blue, but you telling me in your sermons the sky is red, I at least need to know 
where does it say that and why you know what's the you know why should i go with you because my maybe my understanding is limited but i keep reading i read five scriptures where he referenced as blue but you telling me it's red so hey i'm learning we all learn and hey i appreciate all of you guys coming on sister monique mr flowers mr roberts hey man hey it feels good hey sorry the tour was in the art that yeah. was that was the law that's the first five that's, books that's the law. first five books yeah yeah simple five huh simple five yeah we just so, hey. we just happened to call it a book you know a yeah. binding of books that's all yeah so hey hey well mr roberts come on i you know you 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 got my number. I put my number up there, and uh, I want you to come on, man. Give us some more insight next Monday at seven thirty, man. Finish the discussion. Bring out some more stuff. Hey, it's content. It helps us instead of us just up here talking to each other. And that's how we learn. We learn from talking here and there. We trading stuff, even if stuff sounds weird and you know spacey. We still can learn because we don't know it all. When a man stop learning and says he know it all, that's a kind of an idiot. So, hey, I'm going to bid you guys good night, man. I appreciate you guys coming in. I really got it, man. So, hey, I'll see you next week, Mr. Roberts. I hope you come in, man. Appreciate right, you time, taking your time, man. I appreciate your time coming out on our show. Talk to all you right. next week, y'all. All right, good night. All right.